Hi, from everyone. <laughs> okay, so today uh, around two uh, thirty, it's time to explore uh, Hoi An. So today we will take a motorbike trip. This is our motorbike rental. <laughs> actually, we paid around two hundred thousand dongs for twenty four hours, and then the hotel actually organized yeah, it. Yeah, that seems like a hotel is renting, so it's very convenient, very easy. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're gonna go to Hoi. Um, we're gonna make a special video about the Hoi An. It's very nice. It's about 45 minutes, 25 kilometers drive by our motorbike today. <laughs> All right. So this is our rented bike. This is actually automatic, right? Yeah, Honey Honda Honda Airblade, popular in Asia. We got two helmets as well. Safety first. Always remember, guys. Hopefully, just not gonna be rainy. Even hopefully not, right? And it's automatic bike. Uh, it's like. A, no, regular bike actually. You look good on your helmet, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go then. And eventually we arrived to Hoi An City, that's the heritage city in Vietnam, by the way. Last time here I was out by night, mm -hmm. today we're gonna show you by day and by night. Because, uh, well, I never mean by day here. I feel like <laughs> super excited to explore the Hoi An because, you know, I read that this one is the UNESCO. <laughs> yeah, UNESCO, UNESCO City Heritage Site. Yes. And so much is going on around. This is also a very tourist place, but um, it's very nice. A lot of, a lot of things to show you today. We are walking on the small street leading to the Japanese bridge and as you can see it's totally different vibe. So much accessories everywhere, so much shops, cafes and boutiques, so many people everywhere around. We just walk five minutes and we feel like, you know, the vibe of the Asian charm is here. You see surrounded is the lantern, already lights on. I'm super excited. Let's, let's go, let's explore more. Okay, so the first stop, we will go to the Pagoda. Oh, look at that. So packed of people. Let's go inside. That's the Pagoda over here. Look at this architecture over here. This is area actually of the Japanese bridge, which is at the front. This is where we are heading. At night, all of this lantern is going to be flashing. It's going to be different charm. But check this out. How does the city look like during the day? I'm so cool and so busy. People enjoying their time, coffee, drinks, and this is the bridge itself, next to the river. This is like a center Masa, of the uh, Hoi An. And, whew, hello. <laughs> Put master body, master head Thank you. Okay. Okay, now let's pass the bridge. Let's go inside. This is like a Japanese bridge, a wooden bridge. Uh, check this out. Pretty nice, nice indeed. Um, check this out of the architecture. You can get also inside. There's like a prayer room. That's how does it look like. Also quite a lot of a lot of tourists everywhere around, and the street is going on more and more and more further. You can buy also so many so many souvenirs here, merchandises and many other stuffs like this one. But, <coughs> Okay guys, if you've been to Bali and you see a big bus with the Chinese tourists, with the guide, with the flag, so where are they now? They are in Vietnam. Actually, this ones, this group have a Thai flag, so I think they are Thai, but you got the point what I mean. And it's so busy over here. So busy. Unbelievable. Long time I didn't been in the, after the pandemic times, anywhere else where I saw crowds like this one. That's unbelievable, actually. Maybe except the Golden Bridge in Danang, what I've been in the last time. But check this out. It's like uh, 4 p.m. It's very busy. Very, very busy and very interesting. Beautiful places. Check this out. More and more people and more and more shops everywhere. 
around. However, here is a little bit more cozy and also everybody thinking a Sweeney is Indian. <laughs> somebody yeah. approach you. <laughs> well, you actually, somebody approached me. I know that she has a tailor and she explained that, you know, I have a tailor inside. Whenever you want to make something, it's 24 hours and then it's done. Because I don't know, maybe because I dress pink like this. So I don't know, people always look at me. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, um, attracting the, some of the sellers ask me to shop. Well, yeah, she is thinking that I'm from India, but I explain I just from Indonesia. <laughs> it's okay, there's nothing wrong actually. Anyways, uh, that's the shops, the street where you can find so many, so many shops with many kind of uh, things especially the bags over here and the paintings. You can find really so much, so much stuff here. Um, and so many people everywhere around. I think I already mentioned a few times, but uh, that's good, good to see, yeah? It's very good to see, you know, it's not about comparing the, the you know, Bali places, and Vietnam yeah. places, no. But this is just like study for me <laughs> to see like learning something new culture and immerse with the locals so yeah this is a part of learning as well okay guys so i just read in the article about the japanese bridge so this bridge is actually built by the japanese and this bridge is actually this side actually is for the chinese and that side is for the vietnamese so yeah <laughs> You see the crowd behind me, so happy to see that everything is just like back to normal. People are coming and enjoying, uh, you know, like having a trip to Vietnam. So nice. <laughs> I don't know, I just like speechless. I'm so happy to see this. Also, you can find in Hoi An this kind of transportation. Uh, local people making some business here. This looks pretty cool. So many nice restaurants, so many people, so much is going on in general everywhere around. And this is the famous bridge when at night is so much is going on. So this is the little bridge. As you can see, the crowds are unbelievable. Uh, this is the Japanese bridge, what we were talking about. And on the other side is the bigger river, another bridge and so many restaurants options there. Probably we're gonna have some lunch. And on, this and on this river later on, there will be so many boats where you can take a little cruise around and put the little lantern on the water. All of this romantic stuff, we're gonna do it later when it's night. But now we're gonna show you a little bit by the daytime. Also, it's time for the some lunch, I think. Let's go. Anyways, check this out. It's unbelievable how busy Hoi An is today. So much is going on in the streets. Also having full of these cafes with the small stalls. Everybody are asking about that. But yeah, that's in Vietnam like this. Everything that the stalls are just chairs are very small. People also making some pictures here, like, you know, with traditional outfits. And also interesting fact is here, they are motorbikes uh, or cars, of course, and motorbikes. They are not allowed, only uh, this kind of rickshaw, cycle, rickshaw or whatever it's called, it's allowed. And it's very enjoyable. Basically, every old building like this one is definitely old. It's transformed into small restaurant or place for having a coffee. And you can find so many restaur uh, so many streets you got in deep inside from the river like this one. Let's enjoy a little bit of the view, it's so cool. Currently it's about four o'clock and I, in my opinion, this is one of the best times to come here. So you come at four, two hours, explore the city by the daytime, then it's getting to the dark and the Hoi An by night, because by night is also very beautiful here. When I was here last time, Winnie said, I wanna come to Hoi An and, make, and explore by myself. So we are here today. Yeah, so at least that you can see the difference between daytime and how it is, surroundings and nighttime. Exactly, because last time I was at nighttime and I was regretting a little bit why I didn't come at daytime. So let's explore more of the streets. Yes, so beautiful. You can find so much. What is this one? This is like a, uh, some cafe. And the guy is doing something like a painting or writing. You can buy so many hats like this one and the bags and the leather thingy. 
and of course the clothes, you know, like a regular stuff. Uh, but uh, look at this peaceful streets. How does it look like? It's like a peaceful, tranquil of Hoi An. More and more coming deep inside the street, you can find more uh, beautiful restaurants and the architecture of the buildings and everything. This is all very old, that's why it's uh, into UNESCO as the heritage site of Vietnam. Okay, let's turn right, baby. We're here, yes. deep inside of this tanky. Yes, yes. Let's see what is inside. This shop take my attention because they are real leather shop. And check this out, this box and the quality seems very, very decent. Looks very nice indeed. Is the lady outside? have a real crocodile yeah. here yeah. and the wallets. $146. US. For US dollars, right? Real, real crocodile Porsche. Real crocodile, yes. Yeah, real crocodile purse. Like this one? You can one? find so Buffalo. much wallets and stuff. Buffalo. Yes? Just, uh, 700. This 700? Dong. Oh, 700 dongs for the buffalo skin. I just want to show you 360 degree what's going on here. In the corners, there are actually two uh, leather shops. And then it's another street everywhere, actually. This is like a chop, chop, four, fa. Something like this. So much is going on, so much is going on, and the river is there. This was like a 360 degree shot. And there is some nice cafe for the bar, the Sun Bistro. We decided to have some coffee. Cheers. Nice place. On the second floor, coffee, <coughs> Sayang, and we have a view from the window outside. What's going on? So cool. I like to watch people from the second floor here. So nice. Relaxing. They said that Hoi An is the most romantic uh, city in Vietnam. And I found out that uh, the type of tourists, mostly they are couple, right? dark and we're gonna show you the Hoi An by night where it's so colorful with so many lights and all of this stuff yeah so let's see let's see this is like a juice bar a cafe bar uh, so many lanterns at night and the clothes silk cashmere and so much so much so much is going on around so many nice stuff Honey, I think that we should go to the river now. Okay, let's go to the river then, over there. I think it's actually time to go to the river and have a boat and put some lanterns on the water, yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Basically, that's how the Hoi An looks by night. So calm and charm with the motorbikes and the cars and so many cafes to choose from around. So much. And also local street food here as well. Oh. And then the corner restaurant with the lanterns and the river is at the front. All of these places are so photogenic actually, especially after the sunset time. That's why it's worth to come here and see everything two times or one day, full entire day. Uh, because, you know, it looks totally different. Look at this, this small girl with the lanterns and all of this stuff looks like this one. So cool, very nice. All right, so Damian and I and decided to go to the small boat. And if you are thinking about the price, so they have a actually fixed price now. Yeah. So one or three people price 150 and then 20 minutes. And, and now you have to buy this one. <laughs> <laughs> and then we will buy, uh, what is it called? That's right, the cup two for 50,000. Yeah, what's the uh, name of this? What's the name? Name, name, name. <laughs> Oh, oh, just the, the candle. candle. Okay, the okay, candle. okay. Okay, so the romantic candles. And we have a boat. It looks a yeah. little bit different than I was last Ooh. time. Seems like a more <laughs> easier and legit. Uh, I don't really into these boats. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle for me. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. oh, but so nice, so, so romantic. Nice. And now I can record you. You can record me. <laughs> oh my God, so beautiful. Oh, this way. Oh, I ah, see. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, we are cruising across the Hoi An River uh, with the romantic boat, with the lanterns like this one. We have a candle here as well. We have to fire them up and put on the water. And it's just after sunset, like a half hour. And it's so romantic, so beautiful. 
So the guy gonna fire it up. Uh -huh. Now it's now convenient with this ticket options and everything. So you don't need to negotiate, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, he's gonna fire this up. And meanwhile, so many people enjoying everywhere yeah. around. Hey. Oh, we crash! <laughs> Hello! Hello. <laughs> so nice. We switch the sides, so Sayang can face uh, backwards, but I can film very nicely. Sayang, you have to make a wish. Oh! But don't say it loud. Okay. <laughs> My wish. Okay. Is it a birthday wish or no? <laughs> I don't know actually exactly. But you can okay. put the lanterns, I think, down. Okay. Check this out. So, so many people actually. Wow. Look at this. So my wish to all of you. Happy, successful and... Say. Oh, I have to say like this. Okay. This one. I have to do like this. So everybody have happy, success and... I don't know, success. <laughs> okay, good. I put down. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, bye. So cute. So romantic. So nice and so many people on the other side of the wow. street. So now Damien's turn. Yeah, that's not my I turn mean, now. Make a wish. Yeah. Okay, I make it very quick and very simple. Bye bye. Oh. What I can see here, you know, like during our walk and then what we observe together, what we see. I think that the type of tourists mostly coming here, they are couple and they are family also. Uh, you know, regardless of their age, uh, from small, young age and then the older tourists seems like they are enjoying, you know, like Look at surrounds us. You see? Pack of people. <laughs> and look at the lantern. Wow. So oh, beautiful. So beautiful. It? Are you happy, Shayong? Yes, and the meaning of the lantern actually here, if I'm not mistaken guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Here is the meaning um, of happiness. If you switch on the lantern, it means like the happiness of life. Yeah, you can find even people also, you can drop it from the street. Last time I think I put this from the bridge. So thank you remember I once I drop it from, put this from the bridge, right? Uh-huh. And it's so many people everywhere around. <laughs> and this lovely family here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so beautiful and so colorful. Very unique experience in Hoi An Sayang. Yeah? yeah. Something totally different. So if you are on honeymoon. Uh, you know, maybe after being in Bali, I still promoting Bali though. <laughs> after being in Bali, you can come to Vietnam, go to Hoi An, and go here. Even like this, like a pack of people, but you still feel romantic. So cute. Oh, actually, you so see? many people over here. Check this out. Wow. Everywhere around. Wow. Wow. Or perhaps if you're already bored with Bali and coming over and over and over to the same uh, destination, you can try Vietnam instead. Let's promote a little bit of Vietnam as well. Um, in my opinion, it deserves really a lot and especially this experience is pretty cool. I really like it second time in this year and I really enjoy it. What <laughs> happens? <laughs> eh? We have a Look. boat next to the boat, so cool. And there's the bridge full of people behind us. Eh? Whoa, I should lay down. Oh, like this? Like this? Okay. Look. Okay. Oh, oh look at head? this. Watch your head, your head baby. Watch, watch your, your head. head. Actually, for wow. me, it's serious stuff. Wow. Honey. It's so busy here. Unbelievable. Guys. Uh, I mean, I'm just looking all around and I'm just wondering, is this Last time was busy, but now it's crazy. Yeah, the, you busy. know, from the background, if you can see the bridge, wow, it's like a pack of people. I never see the place like this, you know, full of people everywhere you go. It's just like you're recording the people. Wow. I agree. I agree. So nice. So nice. So nice and so enjoyable. Hey. <laughs> 
Oh. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. That's the golden bridge. Japanese bridge, eh? Mm-hmm. The Japanese bridge over there. Shots, how romantic and how cool is this actually? So many people everywhere around. Each boat have a nice lunch room. So I'm seems like enjoying so much. So nice. So Enjoy nice. It? Yes, so nice. This is like a lifetime experience. This is the end of our journey. We are docking back next to the red building like this one. Actually, where we had a coffee somewhere here. Yeah. So cool experience, is that? Yes. Look okay. at that. Very cool experience, yeah? <laughs> so nice. And very good idea with these tickets option, so you don't need to negotiate. Everybody pay the same. That's nice. I like and it. And then, I don't know, maybe you don't need to negotiate. They have a fixed price. It's so cool. yeah, it's cool. It's cool. There are so many food options here also, everywhere around. So many people enjoying their time. I think we're going to explore a little bit more and dinner time for us. Actually, you can see so many cafes and restaurants here. When it's more darker, it's actually more busier and more packed with the people. So you can have uh, so much, plenty of options with the food. You can find so many nice places, like this one, for example. Uh, pretty romantic place, very beautiful. But everywhere around, everywhere. I mean, you also have to go to the other side of the river. Let's see what is over there. This is the bridge where everybody crossing the river is so busy over here. And this is like we were passing this bridge actually previously. So let's go on the other side over there. So this is the restaurant and the area of the Japanese bridge. So it's like a central uh, part of Hoi An. We have to cross the bridge, it's pretty busy. So I just wanna show you how it looks like raw without editing and anything. So many boats uh, on the one side, so many people. And the people also selling the lanterns. So lanterns, right? Uh, candle. Candles, candles. It's very busy actually, as you can see, so many people. All right, and then when you cross the bridge from the other side of the city, there are so many, so many restaurants everywhere around, so colorful. Uh, on the left, on the right, so much is going on. Also, great place to having some other pictures from the land. This is Hoi An, that's the characteristics. So many lanterns and so much beautiful decoration. So. That's gonna work. Also, as we mentioned, it's dinner time, so we're gonna walk around, show you what is going on, and probably we're gonna choose something. I wanna try these uh, noodles. Well, they are popular only in the city, in Hoi An. What's the name, sir, of the noodles? Do you remember? Chao Lao. Chao Lao. Yeah, Chao Lao. Yes. Last time, I think I had a dinner here somewhere in the corner, and there is the shops with the lanterns at the front. Also, so cool. Very nice looking places everywhere around. And since pretty busy, so yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. Busy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Lanterns. Hey, you should have a picture like this, no? Yes. Ah, let's make a picture for you, Sayan. Yeah. With the lanterns like this one. So nice. So nice. So beautiful. Yeah. And actually, so many so many shops it's not on this it's one shop there are actually many of them <laughs> so that's the corner the river situation this is the lantern situation oh, look at that. Uh, this lady dressing the traditional outfit and making a picture it's also pretty cool in there and then next to it there is like a street food street food and the market art market and street food all together wow. 
Wow! Wow! <laughs> so much Look is at going that. on! Wow, this guy is the YouTuber, I think, also the content okay. creator. Check this out. So much is going on. Sayang, let's stand here, I will oh. make a picture of you. Check this out. It's so cool, I really like this lantern. It's like so beautiful. Oh, that's the nice picture, Sayang. Sayang is posing for the picture. This is video, actually, but <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Okay, let's explore a little bit of the market. What they are doing here, you can find so many uh, skewers, so many stuff, fruit, veg. This is, of course, the market, what is uh, considered about the tourist market, of course, because this is Hoyan. So you can see many, 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 many people from all around the world in one place. And with so much stuff here, check this out. My eyes walking everywhere around. <laughs> what do you think about the market? So nice. Nice? Nice. So much is going on. And also, so many people everywhere around. Check this out. It's not as it's the quiet market. It's very busy, very crowded market over here. Check this out. All right, it seems like it's going to be rainy because we already feel some drop of the water, yeah? yeah. Let's grab some dinner, some. <laughs> Let's try the new Hapoi and noodles. There's some nice looking local restaurant with Chao Lao for only 25,000, but is that full? As I don't think we can find any table here, but uh, well, looks pretty all right for me. Very busy, Sayang, very busy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my, yeah, that's how it looks like here in Koi An. Also here in the corner restaurant, you have some lights, light music. Morning Glory Bar, actually so many oh options God. here, so many restaurants, if you're gonna ever come here you, you should find something for yourself, that's for sure, because check this out, this street is full of the restaurants, unbelievable. We found the one place, this, this boy and this girl saying it's very nice here, I think we can trust them, yeah? So this one is the specialties. Specialties. Yes, specialties. Chao Lao. For, yeah, for 40,000 million like dongs. <laughs> Swing oh. Lao, Rai Ben Kek. Mm -hmm. so. And Hoi Han Chicken Rice Specialty. Ah, Hello. Hello. <laughs> Where do you come from? I'm from Poland and she's Europe. from Indonesia. Indonesia. Ah, yes. Uh, Bali. Bali, yes. Yeah. You know that. You've been to Bali before. No, I know. But, but you know, your customer uh -huh. come to Bali so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thank today. you. Okay, oh. we will eat here, yeah? Okay, we will eat here. Outside? Beautiful place, by the way. Check this out. Very nice. Let's go. It's my chinego kohani. Oh, thank you, Sayang. Jikuye. This is the traditional Hoi An dish. This is Chao Lao. Chao Lao. Chao Lao. With the big noodles. I'm a big fan of noodles, so... So I'm always happy to have some noodles. Okay, noodles, sprout, beef, something like that, yeah? yeah? Veggie. Some crispy stuff. Yeah. So nice. And chicken or beef? Probably beef. And look at the vibe here. You see? Almost full house. Why are you laughing? <laughs> so nice, actually. Thank you. Wow. So I have a chicken uh, rice in ha Hoi An. So this also food specialties in Hoi An. They have a chow lao and a chicken rice. So highly recommended, guys, whenever you come here. This place so cheap. And Damian thinking to have another chow lao, right? Yeah, because I finished already mine. And to be honest, I really like it. I will go for the second bowl of the chow lao. <laughs> as much as I go, Saya. Thank you, yeah. Check this out. This one, they even have a lantern from the trees. So cool, actually. A lot of nice places everywhere around. <laughs> Sayang seems enjoying. It's a little bit different. This is like a, one of the few places in the world, or maybe only one place in the world like this one. This is very Vietnamese style. I really like the lanterns. Um, let me know if you like it. But for me, it's super cool. Yeah, this is the shot from the middle of the bridge, where the boats waiting here for potential guests and there uh, is river full of the full of the boats and the traffic situation everywhere around people coming making pictures this lady trying to sell the candle so much interesting stuff beautiful place that's for sure 
a lot of is going on. That's why he's probably so popular, by the way. And I think more and more at night, it's actually more and more busier. Of course, it's better weather condition. It's more cooler. Lights are everywhere around. But it's generally very busy here in Hoi An. And so many places to have a rest, have a drink, have a lunch or buy something. Okay, so this one is the dessert actually. And <laughs> wow, look at this. So pack of people. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Okay guys, I think that's all our trip uh, today from uh, Hoi An. So now it's time to go back to Da Nang. It takes us around 45 minutes and it's already like 7 o'clock or something and I'm still after my recovering so it's time for taking a rest. We will be another day in Da Nang tomorrow. So stay with us, bear with us and see you. See you tomorrow. See ya. Thank Bye. You.